Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm giving my full review on the On Running Cloud Ultra. So this shoe designed with Ultra Running in mind is brand new to On Running at least as of a few months ago. Not long after it came out I had done my first run impressions uh, and since then I've put over 100k into the shoe and I'm ready for my full review. So like always I'll go over the basic stats on this shoe, things that I like and dislike, and finally if my opinion has changed on the shoe at all since my first run impressions. Okay, so my men's size 8.5 weighs in at 10.3 ounces or 293 grams. The Cloud Ultra has a heel to toe drop of 8 millimeters. The upper on the shoe is really nice, it kind of has like a sandwiched mesh. There are a couple of reinforced overlays here on the forefoot and a couple of bumpers on the side uh, just to have some added protection out on the trails. The laces on the shoe are really thin uh, so I don't even bother single knotting them. I always double knot them uh, and I haven't had any issues with them coming undone with a double knot. The tongue on the shoe is fully gusseted so it's a one piece construction. It's totally connected here uh, and that does make the shoe a little bit harder when you initially put it on. Uh, but on has you covered with this little loop here on the tongue and it makes getting the shoe on and off a lot easier. And there is this band here right under the laces. That's just so that you can tuck your laces into that band if you're running somewhere that has uh, like a lot of twigs or stuff sticking out into the trail and you don't want something snagging your laces and untying them. And then finally we'll talk about this flip here at the end of the laces. So theoretically what this little flip or switch here is designed for is to help alleviate some pressure in the kind of mid to forefoot of the shoe. The thinking behind this is this is a shoe that's designed for ultra runs and some of you are going to be wearing this shoe for many 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 hours and your foot can tend to swell over time and when your foot swells sometimes your shoe becomes too tight so the thinking behind this little flip here is that it's just going to give you a little bit of extra room in your shoe. I personally think this is a little bit of a gimmick. Um, I have never ever had to use this. I, when I first got the shoe I played around with it but I didn't notice any difference with the fit. And over the last couple of months I've known many many people who have picked up the shoe. They all love this shoe but none of them have used, used this little flip either. But to be fair, I guess if you're an ultra runner or just a runner in general who you know your foot swells significantly, then yeah, maybe this little flip here will give you a little bit of room that you need when your foot does swell. And then to finish off the upper, uh, these are two things that I thought might be issues after my first run impressions of this shoe. And that was the padding in the heel and the padding on the tongue as well. So this tongue is very thin um, and that's not a huge issue but the first time that I wore this shoe I wore ankle socks, really low cut socks. My socks didn't come above the tongue and I thought maybe over the course of a really long run that this tongue because it's so thin if you wore really low cut socks uh, could dig into your ankle and I have not experienced any issues since my first run in the shoe uh, mostly because I'm wearing socks now that go above the top of this tongue. And then in the heel collar it's not very padded at all and after my first run in the shoe I thought maybe they could have put a little bit more padding in there. But since that first run I've really dialed in my fit with this shoe. I haven't had any sort of heel slipping issues or anything like that. And to be honest for myself now I would say that there's adequate enough padding in this heel. Okay, now we move along to the midsole of this shoe and right away you'll see On's patented uh, Cloud Tech technology as they like to call it. So the Cloud Ultra features On Running's Helion midsole and while there is quite a bit of foam in this shoe, uh, it's still definitely a little bit on the firmer feeling side. So first of all, if you're looking for a shoe that's ultra soft, squishy, bouncy, you know, something like a Hoka, uh, look elsewhere than On Running. On Running makes some really amazing shoes, uh, but most of them are definitely on a little bit more of the firm side. And this one is no exception. Uh, it's not so firm that I wouldn't want to take it out on an Ultra, uh, but compared to some other trail shoes out there, especially something like the Hoka Speed Goat, uh, that's one of my other trail running shoes, that thing is ultra cushioned. Um, and this is much firmer than that. And then another thing to talk about is every on running shoe, this one is no exception, they all have what's called a speed board built into them. And essentially that's a full length plastic plate and it's quite stiff, especially in this shoe. And what the speed board is going to help you do is it's, it loads up every foot strike and then helps propel you forward. I think in this shoe specifically, you're getting a couple of other benefits to that speed board. 
Uh, first of all, I think it's providing a little bit more stability out there on uneven trails. And then I also think it might kind of act as a rock plate um, because the shoe doesn't have a rock plate built into it. Um, and I've ran over plenty of incredibly sharp uh, rocks out on the trails and I haven't felt any of them go up, th up through the shoe into my foot. So that's probably been helped out a little bit with the speedboard in combination with how much midsole foam that the shoe has. And like I said, this is a firm feeling shoe. And another reason why this shoe is so firm is that speedboard sits on top of the midsole and just below the insole. So you can hear that. I took the insole out and you can actually feel that speedboard right below that. So right below the insole, that's where that hard plastic speedboard is. Um, so that's gonna just add to the firm feeling ride of the shoe. Okay, and now we move along to the outsole of this shoe, and this is what makes this shoe pretty unique to on running. Uh, for the first time ever, they've totally closed in all of these individual cloud pods. So if you've ran in an on running shoe before, especially one of their uh, road specific models, you'll know that they're really bad at sucking up rocks like a vacuum, uh, especially if you take any of their road shoes off onto trails. And that's definitely not the case with this shoe, um, which rightfully so, this is an ultra trail running shoe. So you don't wanna be getting rocks stuck or twigs stuck in the bottom of it. Now, if we look at the actual rubber on this outsole, it uses what On calls their mission grip rubber. Uh, so very sticky, very durable. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I have over 100K or 60 miles on my pair. And there is extremely little wear on the outsole of this shoe. And then as far as the lugs on the outsole goes, um, it's not very aggressive at all. And one of the great things about having a trail shoe like this that isn't super aggressive on the bottom is it makes for an amazing door to trail shoe. And what I mean by door to trail is it's the shoe is very, very versatile. Um, so this shoe feels really, really nice running on pavement. Actually, I think in my first run impressions, I said this shoe feels better on pavement than a lot of other sh road running shoes out there. Um, and my opinion hasn't changed on that. The shoe feels awesome on pavement, but it feels awesome on pavement, gravel, hard pack trails, uh, technical rocky trails. The only place where a shoe like this doesn't really shine is in really nasty slushy conditions. So I haven't taken the Cloud Ultra through snow yet, um, but I've taken it through some muddy sections after rain. And yeah, I slipped around quite a bit in this shoe. Uh, whereas you compare that to a shoe like the Solomon Speed Cross, uh, this shoe is highly, highly aggressive on the outsole. And a shoe like that is going to totally suck on pavement, and it does, but it's amazing in really bad slushy conditions. So personally, for my type of trail running, um, I usually do a lot of pavement with my trail running to get to the trails, and then usually the trails are hard packed or technical rocky trails. So this shoe for myself is absolutely perfect for the type of trail running that I like to do. Now we'll go over the fit on the shoe a little bit. Uh, so this shoe, like I mentioned, it's hard to initially put on, especially if you're trying it on for the very first time. Um, but what's, once you do get your foot inside of the shoe, it's very, very comfy. So really nice on foot feel. Now as far as the fit goes, as far as width, um, I would say the shoe fits on the normal to narrow side. So if you have a really wide foot, this isn't going to be the shoe for you. And unfortunately it only comes in one width. And then as far as the length goes, uh, for myself personally, I went true to size, but I know many, many other people who have actually had to go up half a size. So depending on your foot and what other type of shoes you wear, you might be true to size like myself, or you might have to go up a half size, or some people have even had to go up a full size. So if you don't have a really wide foot, you find the right length that works for you. The shoe fits like a glove. It feels really amazing and is gonna be a really good door to trail option for that pavement, hard packed trails, technical sections. Price point on the Cloud Ultra is 180 US or 210 Canadian. So certainly on the upper end when compared to other trail running shoes. But for myself, having a shoe that's so versatile, uh, I'm gonna use this shoe 95% of the time that I go trail running. The price is worth it in my opinion. The only time I wouldn't use this shoe is if it was really, really muddy out or it had just snowed, then I'd probably take out my Solomon Speed Crosses over the Cloud Ultra. So not a whole lot has changed since my first run impressions. Um, I personally don't do a whole lot of trail running, uh, but as far as a trail running shoe, I think On really hit a home run with this one. 
I know personally in the area that I live, a lot of people are buying the shoe and loving it. And let me know down below in the comments if you've picked up a pair of Cloud Ultras and what you think of them. And like always, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can pick up a pair for yourself. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.